Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otto C, and welcome to another day in Minecraft. Last episode, we finished this nether hub that I dug out a bit more in the meantime. And as mentioned then, we need a few farms for the tunnels. This is what we built here, another farming tower or two. It will be slightly different as the one or two towers will have a variety of smaller farms. So let's get to it. As this tower will have several farms, we will have a sorting system here at the bottom. And I think we will have this many um, uh, number of different items. And the first farm we will do is the nether ward farm. And um, yeah, let's build some nether ward farm layers up. Um, I think time lapse time. Nether ward is painfully slow growing and it does so only in the player's vicinity. 100 blocks, I believe. Therefore, you have two options a manual farm or an AFK farm with minecarts. I go for the manual farm as the replanting needs to be done by the player anyway, and this design is more compact. It has four layers with five by six nether words per layer. Only the top one has one row less, bringing the whole farm up to 115 plants. From the outside, the farm does not look like much. In fact, only this side here has any design considerations to look at, as the whole farm will be encased in a building eventually. Let's see how it works. The release mechanism for the water is here at the bottom, as you need to wait for all the warts to be flushed into the hoppers before turning it off again. That was a quick and easy farm, so what do you say we do another one? For that we have to fly over here over our beautiful bee farm from last episode into the swamp biome where we will create a farm for some blue orchids. Where the netherwood farm was manual, this flower farm will be fully automatic using bone meal, shifting grass and water to collect the drops. In fact, we have already done this once for the nether nursery using a bit of complex redstone to tie it all to one single clock. Let's try a different setup this time with two clocks and hopefully simpler redstone. As I cannot manage building redstone and talking you through it, I build it up and then walk you through the different parts. While this looks a bit convoluted from this point of view, it really is not, at least to compare with it uh, for the nether nursery. So here we do have the uh, output with uh, one sorting slot for the uh, blue orchid and everything else goes into composter and uh, adding us back a bit of bone meal. Everything else should basically only be uh, seeds. And on this side we have a double chest uh, feeding the um, dispenser there with bone meal and that dispenser is powered with the uh, contraption down below. Then over here we have a muscle switch and uh, once we turn that on it really gets loud so let's let's turn it off again. As you can see the uh, floor above there shifts and with each shift the uh, dispenser is powered as well. And this is because we have uh, this clock here, an ESO hopper clock, uh, with one item in it. So it's a really fast clock with uh, two outputs, one on this side, one on this side. And uh, these two outputs 
go to the uh, two piston sides, one here, one here, and uh, the fact that they are on different sides of the clock, meaning they are powered alternately, pushing the floor back and forth. Then the uh, other clock we have down here, this, it's the one here in front, which has uh, in total um, one stack items in it. So it's slower and uh, we only have one output signal from that one. And what this does is it shuts this clock off thereby pausing the shifting and the dispensing. And we have this signal here, which goes round and up as well. And then we have this contraption here, which breaks down the one constant signal into two signals. The first one goes out here and into the line and the second one goes around here, a bit of delay, and then into the same line, uh, basically powering these um, dispensers, which will eventually hold a water bucket, and thereby spitting out the uh, water and retracting it. And with all this together, um, this really works nicely. And the off switch also powers this line. And uh, independent of where the, the, this redstone block is, this block is powered. So this piston is extracted and that clock is stopped as well. So let's put the finishing touching in here, putting in the water and uh, a bit of bone meal, and then we can give this uh, baby a test run. Let's turn this baby on and give it a test run. As you can see, uh, it is working. The uh, bone meal is dispensing, the flowers and the grass is growing, the floor is shifting, breaking everything. And then once every uh, once in a while, water is dispensed to flush everything into the hoppers. The only drawback with this design is that the uh, phase where the floor is not shifting has the same length as the phase where it is shifting. And I think this is... Uh, uh, a concession uh, that I'm willing to make for the uh, simplicity of uh, of this firm because all it takes in the end is is a bit of time and as it does not need any manual interaction we can just stay here with our player and uh, wait until we have the needed flowers and it is a really fast form so we should not need that much time I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, Another Day in Minecraft. It was a short one, but a very productive one. And I think next time we will have a look at ice farms. Until then, goodbye.